Welcome back to another Blender November visual scripting series in the Shader Library with Serpents and Darkfall. In the last video, we created run functions that will add in material nodes, and we created the add one, two, and mix shader node and place them on our diamond graph. Now, in this video, we're going to connect in all the links for each of our nodes so that we can actually see our material, and then that will finish up the diamond material. You'll have everything you need to start making your own shader library. Let's go ahead and dive right in and get started. So continuing on from the previous video, we're still using the template that we built to add in a node. Only this time, instead of creating blend data for a node, we'll create blend data for the links. We can copy these four nodes and the get blend data collection nodes, and we can add the index data collection as well. And then hit control C and we're gonna go ahead and make a new graph. I'll add material links, control V, hit period on your numcat, numpad to find it. And we can hide the end panel. So we're gonna make another function. So shift A under functions, click on function. Okay, so instead of creating blend data on the nodes themselves by making a node, we're going to be creating blend data on the input by making a link. And so we need to index a data collection in order to access the node itself. So you can just do a shift A and then under your blend data, you have index data collection. We don't need to necessarily worry about the index itself. We just want access for the blend data so we can make a parameter for our function. We can disconnect this now and we're gonna connect in over here on the input. And let's, um, let's do a new create blend data. So under functions, create blend data. to do it off of the links themselves. So hit control H, tie in these links. And then we can set this as the input. Now equally, we can do another index data collection and duplicate this down. And instead of connecting for inputs, we can connect for outputs. We don't really care about the index itself because we're going to be accessing all of this once we make our function. So we're gonna tie in for the create blend data and then we need to set our parameters. So first parameter like we did before for material name. The next parameter is going to be setting in our node for our input node. So we're coming off of our nodes and indexing and we have something that's gonna be accessing for our node. And then we'll access the inputs off of that node. And then we want to be able to select one of the indexes for the inputs. Do the same thing for the outputs. Don't necessarily need these anymore. Shift this down a little bit to make just a little bit better. There's our new function. So go back to our shader library graph. Let's go ahead and add in some links. This is where we're going to be making use of our variables. So we'll shift A and under functions, we'll do a run function. Just copy over the diamond. 
of the input node. So we have input is going to be on the left hand side. So we need to connect the add one to the glass or the add zero to the glass zero output. Let's grab our getter. Change the indexes to zero for both. And let's compile. Let's go ahead and click on our diamond. There we go, we created our first link. That's super easy to go from here. You can grab all three of these nodes, Shift D to duplicate, and then do the next one. So glass two, going to add shader one. So we're still doing the input, going to index of one, changing this to glass two of index zero, recompiling, test it. We've got that one made. Duplicate again. This time we're connecting to our add two on input zero. And we're connecting glass. Uh, we, we can do either one. Let's do the add shader first. So add one's output going to the input. Done. Duplicate over. Check on our glass three, compile. Oh, notice how it broke the link because we changed it over. We need to change the input and index to one. Easy enough, recompile, we got them both. This is why I love functions. Super easy to set up one time and then reusing them over and over again. Okay, so let's connect in our mix shader from our add and our glass. So mix, and this is going to be input number one because the factor is going to be input number zero. And then we'll set up for our add two. And we can do both of these at the same time. So mix input number two with our glass four. Now all we have to do is connect in the material output. In the material output, we need to access a little bit more blend data on. But we can go ahead and duplicate over. We can just come to our add material links and we're gonna need to access up to this point here. So grab these three, copy them. Let's come back over to our shader library. Delete this, we're going to be pulling from our mix node. And then we're going to be pasting control B. We need to come off of our node and we need to index that data collection. So under blend data, index data collection. We can grab our material output node Hit the N key and just copy the name. We'll index based off of that name instead. Still make sure you've got your diamond selected from your material here. You should be good to go. So let's change our input in index to zero and then compile. Now we've got a material made. And it's easy to change initial settings on each of your functions now that you've got them all set up. And we've now completed our first shader. Look at that, that looks nice. So you should have everything you need, at least in your knowledge base, to go ahead and make more materials and to create functions for creating both materials and new nodes. I hope you enjoyed this Shader Library video series, and we'll catch you on the next one.